Good afternoon, Christian. How are you? Hi, Apertim. I'm very good. Thank you very much. It's lovely to see you after a long time. Usually, we meet often, but due to this uh, pandemic, we are stuck at home. Yeah, likewise, indeed. We uh, would have met latest uh, yeah, in Nuremberg or in uh, Milano, but uh, yeah. Well, the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic has disrupted the way company normally functions. So how, how is Deutsche Messe scoping up with it? Well, of course, we had to follow um, all the shutdown rules, especially for larger events and trade shows. So Hannover Messe, for example, was firstly postponed and then um, completely cancelled uh, due to the uh, governmental regulations um, uh, into April 2021. Um, but uh, yeah, what we do is, of course, we develop um, new formats so that in July people can uh, within two days have a Hannover Messe-like experience that is based on an online format that will be um, launched very shortly. So we are working on um, alternatives, especially for those times we are in a constant communication with our customers. Um, yeah, and we reduced our capacity. So we are trying to cope uh, with the situation like every um, yeah, economic entity is doing right now. Well, uh, Deutsche Messe has confirmed their support with respect to the norms led by UFI, the Global Association for Exhibition Industry. And LIGMA is just a year away. So how are the preparation going on? Do you have any new framework or terms and conditions uh, you want to impose on the next show? Yeah, well, we uh, have a task force here at Deutsche Messe that is working on um, yeah, the requirements, the hygienic um, yeah, preparation of the showground, how to cope with uh, many 10,000 people for shows like uh, Eurotia that still are scheduled for this year or other shows like um, Euroblech, but also Domotex next year and Hannover Messe that have uh, yeah, many 10,000 um, visitors. So we are um, yeah, working on hygienic concepts that follow the rules of the government that uh, include um, the social distancing, the space between people, the, um, yeah, and of course the, uh, yeah, the complete line of uh, holding these requirements from the travel, um, from the origin of the people uh, towards Hanover and back. And um, yeah, we really think that we have a very good option here and a very good um, possibility because we are not a concert or a sport event uh, where people are screaming loud, singing and um, and dancing. It's uh, a business to business um, event and um, people talk to each other and there can be uh, yeah, uh, special hygienic uh, um, specifications induced. Yes, yes, you can maintain the social distancing protocol and led by who also 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 recently I read the government uh, German government has stated that the exhibition which the exhibition shows are not under the large event uh, which is which is like as you said as you mentioned it's not concerned it is a great relief trade fair are very important for b2b meetings and also for the global economy at least exactly it's a yeah it's a marketplace uh, for investment it's a trade show and it's uh, not a soccer game or Oktoberfest, yeah. Of course, as we said, Ligna is the mecca of woodworking industry, so it is very important. Well, uh, Christian, uh, digital technology is becoming the new normal, you know. Uh, what digital offering do you have for in, in respect to Ligna 2021? Well, digital approach has never been very new to us. We adapted uh, technology um, and services for our exhibitors and for our visitors long time ago already. Um, so what we do is we develop those services, those approaches, and um, what we piloted last uh, issue last year in Ligna 2019 is the um, digital um, visitor analysis, which will be rolled out on a large scale uh, next year. So every exhibitor can buy into the service and see um, what kind of people approach the hall, approach the stand, and uh, can then, of course, see with the own uh, visitor analysis of this exhibitor, how many of them did I catch? How many uh, walked by, for, what, for whatever reason? Um, and what are the hotspots of my stand? For example, if I have a large scale stand, uh, being a little bigger than 200, 250 square meters, I cannot at any time um, see where's the, 
where's the hotspot? Where's more the cold spot? What did I do uh, to create a hotspot? And um, this is something um, with a beacon-like technology we can, um, yeah, we can analyze and we can, uh, yeah, give the analysis to the exhibitors. This is something we will ro roll out on a large scale. Well, will you be having a new hall layout or some new plan of the social distancing, anything? No, that's, that's, no, that's different. Um, this digital visitor analysis was already set up uh, last year at Ligna. Um, about a dozen exhibitors tested it already and um, it was proven very successful, to be honest, um, uh, because it's based on RFID. And around 10% of Ligna visitors took this RFID tag to, um, yeah, to redraw their journey across Ligna. And um, everyone who had these, uh, uh, who had these, I, I call them beacons on their stand, um, could analyze what kind of visitor group passed uh, their stand, who stayed, how long, but it's anonymous, of course. So you only can see, is it a CEO or is it a technology specialist from a company, a certain size and country. So um, this is something you can work with. And um, this is not actually uh, a, a technology that is helping us keeping social distance. I mean, um, after this pandemic, uh, we all as human beings will, um, will be yeah, different in traveling, will be a little different also on trade shows. So a, uh, yeah, a specific um, behavior will be, will be automatically. I mean, this is what we do already when shopping for groceries, for example. So this is something we will have adapted by latest end of the year for pretty much every event we are attending. So. Um, we are believing in the professional um, approach of our visitors uh, that we don't uh, utilize digital technology or technology at all to keep social distancing. This is nothing we can, uh, we are buying into. Yes, we have to absorb it in our lifestyle. Well, Christian, as you know, we are a totally digital publication company, but still we believe that uh, the, our philosophy is like going to B2B meetings, meeting clients and companies one-to-one -one. and I personally feel is nothing can change this you know nothing can replace this classical way of meeting so but we have seen like many fair organizers are coming up with different virtual tools their new product catalog online so what's your take on that well I fully agree with you uh, that face-to-face -face is something the world needs um, I can see this on a small scale here in Hanover, restaurants, bars, beer gardens slowly reopened this week actually, it's very fresh. And people are sitting there with big smiles on their face because they can be in a social interaction. And this is something that is very typical for us human beings that we need this social interaction. And especially if you invest a lot of money, when you are uh, shopping for a CNC machinery, and it's very important that you take the right decision for your family owned company. It's important that you trust the person who you buy this machinery from. Um, and I mean, the technical specifications can be downloaded on the internet easily, uh, and you can compare them with Excel sheets and whatever, but uh, you need references, you need experiences, and you need the community to, um, yeah, to secure your investment with. And this is something that is done by people, with people, and this yeah, needs interaction. And this is the marketplace where you do that. Um, and you did this hundreds of years before. Uh, from India to Europe to South America, North America, marketplaces have been the centers of towns, the centers of decisions, news, and innovations. And this is something, um, yeah, we are, we are representing. As Lickner, we are the community show for innovation, for technology in woodworking around the world. And this is, uh, we truly believe in, and we uh, yeah, are doing everything for to set it up in May next year. Well, keeping hopes high that this will pass soon, uh, but what, what do you think will be the impact on the global woodworking industry? Well, I mean, woodworking in general and everything that is shown in technology at Ligna, 
is pretty diverse. We go from construction material to furniture to wood-based panel production and everything. So there's many, many things that are not um, impulse buys uh, or sometimes they are, uh, yeah, th these decisions are influenced, of course, um, heavily by what's happening right now. But at the end of the day, um, our industry is very diverse and there's many options for uh, a lot of companies. And if you take, for example, um, the construction industry, uh, mass timber um, and uh, timber construction, things like this, um, are still on agendas around the world because they are representing a sustainable lifestyle. And what I truly believe is that we come out of this pandemic um, and think about even more about sustainability in building, in living, and in lifestyle. And this is something um, where we can actually, uh, yeah, deliver as Ligna and as industry, um, because wood-based uh, materials, uh, being it uh, for, um, yeah, for furniture or for construction, are pretty sustainable. Um, and uh, when I take a look at uh, our, yeah, one of our focus topics, um, the processes in bioeconomic, um, this is something that is um, also based on a sustainable approach for societies. And I think this is something yeah, that we need to focus on, of course, take the path out of this crisis and out of this yeah, very severe situation for, um, yeah, for everyone involved uh, on a marketplace. But um, then I think, uh, and I have high hopes on uh, yeah, the change into a more sustainable um, lifestyle and situation. Well, Christian, uh, Deutsche Messe has another venture that is IFMAC, which is coming up end of the year in Indonesia. So what safety precaution do you think you need to plan for this? Yeah, well, it's planned uh, so far in September, um, but uh, we have uh, a shutdown in Indonesia, especially in Jakarta until May 26. After that, there's a, um, there's a bank holiday. And um, yeah, people have to stay at home right now. They have to stay away from production sites and every social gathering. So um, yeah, we'll see what the requirements and the, um, yeah, and the regulations uh, from the government in Indonesia will be. And then um, we'll be ready to adapt to that. So uh, uh, yeah, this is what I, uh, what I can uh, foresee so far, but we are ready to adapt um, yeah, hygienic measurements uh, that will be given to us by the government, by the local government in Indonesia. And then we are ready to be the um, yeah, most important marketplace in Southeast Asia this year. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping for that. Well, I would like to ask, what, what will be your message to our viewers for uh, Ligna 2021? Well, it's pretty much uh, um, yeah, the same message you hear everywhere. I hope that everyone will uh, cope with the situation, that we'll see each other in May in a, a safe and sound condition on uh, the marketplace where you can see the future of woodworking um, yeah, for the industry. And that's Ligna in Hanover. Thank you very much, Christian, for your time. It's a pleasure talking to you. That was Christian Pfeiffer, the Global Director for Ligna.